What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdlings all? <laughs> it's your buddy, Big Johnny G for two. Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Thank you so much for joining me here. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G. And this is Two Gun Pixie, where I like to talk about board games and tabletop adventures. Tuesdays, like today, I like to give you bullet points as to why I do enjoy a particular title, why I love about it when it hits that table. But we drop a video every day of the week, two on Monday, and on Friday and Saturday nights, I like to do live playthroughs. And we do this all for fun! We're a non-monetized, non-back channel, and I like to keep it that way. So why don't you hit that subscribe and show us a little support for what we're trying to do here. Now, for right now, why don't we talk about the meat of the subject for today. And that is a card game, a debate game, because we're going very strong here. Me and Tommy Reed have put a couple of videos online with this already, uh, I think it was last year, and it's still been played. So why don't you join me down the table and I'll tell you exactly what it is that I've been enjoying about Super Fight. Super Fight. Yeah, this is definitely the, the game that I've been playing. The fight I've been having the longest uh, in my nerdy life. Whether I know I've been playing the game or not. Whether the game was purchased or whether it wasn't. What do I mean by that? This is a game of nerds arguing nerds. This game takes the concept which we've all been doing since our, our, our school days. We, we, we pick a concept and we just decide we can win with this person, with this thing. Uh, James T. Kirk with a TARDIS, but he's blind, you know, versus a Tyrannosaurus Rex with Albert Einstein's mind and the Mongolian horde. Who would win in that fight? Go! That's what this is. Sure, some of them are really silly, sillier than any two nerds have probably ever argued about before. But this is essentially... A nerd smackdown. So many damn expansions. So yeah, you have the core box, the long box that uh, that this comes with, which is going to have all the cards you need, uh, which will be uh, people and other cards, which will be things, items, circumstances. Uh, you know, a, a ten foot sword, uh, or maybe you might get custard cream pies. Is all a random drawer, and you gotta go with what you get. So this is, it, it's it, its like if the debate team at school was just all nerds, only talking about the nerdiest, silliest, and sometimes, yeah, I'll say it, stupidest damn things you could ever imagine. No, no, there's definitely things you'd never imagine until you see the card combinations. Rules? Set up? Are you kidding me, right? There's no set up time. Shuffle cards, put them in the appropriate uh, decks, one of two decks. Uh, like I said, people or things, circumstances. And everyone gets a couple of cards and you gotta choose. That's it. Uh, good luck. So this does take the idea, the concept of the debate team, because you're not always debating your personal opinion when you're on a debate team. The idea, the object is to be able to present reasonable, logical, intelligent debates, regardless of what side you're on. And this, this does it nerdily, beautifully, perfectly well. I can't even begin to, to, to think of every different uh, concept that you can pull out of this. Especially since this game is supported by so many expansions. There's so much to this game. And most of these expansion boxes, these, these tuck boxes of cards, essentially is what they are, all different color. So the orange box, the blue box, things like that. Uh, they're all very specific. Like maybe one would just be comic books. Maybe another would be 
horror tropes. Uh, so this way you can, you can uh, generally take a concept, a theme, a genre, and base your, your game around that. But the combinations are insane, absolutely crazy. Uh, you're never, even if you don't have an expansion of the concept, the idea that you're going to get the same fight twice is ridiculous. I, I don't, I don't see how that would happen. The combinations are so crazy. You get cards like like a ten story tall Queen of England who can control plants versus a two ton blind gorilla with a bazooka. Who's gonna win that fight? Who would ever think of such a concept? That's another thing that I love about this is the craziness of these ideas of, of pulling from so many different uh, different ideas, concepts, tropes, and pulling them together and just saying, "What if? What if?" These two, under these circumstances, had a fight. Personally, although I do love all the nerdy and horror expansions for it, I gotta say my favorite expansion, I think, I think it might be the blue box. My favorite expansion for this is the locations, because that adds a third deck of cards. So now, your 10-story tall Queen of England who can control plants is not only fighting a two-ton blind gorilla with a bazooka, but they're doing it inside the world's largest pinball machine that's actively being played. I love the location cards. If you want to have a good, fun, energy-filled, nerdy debate, I, I really wish that you would take a look at this game. Please, go check out Super Fight.